straight so particle charge q enters region uniform magnetic field pointing into the page so let's say pointing into the page meaning going like this uh, the field deflects the particle distance d above the original line of flight is the charge positive or negative okay we already established that yeah has to be positive according to the right hand rule because v is this way uh, b is into the page so the force would have to be uh, this way so like this and it is deflecting that way which means uh, it has the positive charge okay we've established that yeah so positive charge and now we need the momentum of the particle in terms of the distances the field and the charge the cross is the simple into the page yeah i mistakenly did a dot but it's actually into the page is a dot is a cross and out, of the page is the circle with the cross. Uh, out of the page is the dot yeah uh, well look we start with Lorentz law yeah, yeah. where uh, f equals q uh, v cross b and we know that this is uh, going to be a circular trajectory. Uh, so we know from Newton's second law, I mean, you know, the magnetic field is the only force available. Yeah. So we know that uh, Fm has to equal mv squared over r, r being the radius of the trajectory. Okay? Yeah. Now we know that v and b are perpendicular. So this cross product will just turn out to be Q V B sine ninety degrees, which is one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this is pointing in the R direction, in the R hat direction, right? Towards because this is circular force, and this is also pointing in the R hat direction. Would okay. it, wouldn't that be perpendicular to the R hat? No, the magnetic force would have to be. In the oh, same yeah, direction yeah, yeah. as R hat. Uh, technically, negative. technically, it's negative R hat depending on where you put your origin. But nonetheless, we know that the magnitudes of these two forces will be the same. Right. So, uh, so we know that uh, Q V B, right, has to equal m v squared over R, with R being the radius of the trajectory, and we know that the momentum is m v. Okay, classical. Why, why is it this? Because uh, the radial acceleration, because oh, you know right, how right, f right. equals yeah, ma, the centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. Yeah. So this becomes mv squared over r. So we know that momentum is mv, so that means this is going to be the momentum, the magnitude of the momentum, right, yeah. times v over r. Because mv is for momentum, and then you're left with v over r. Right. And that's equal qvb. And you could see that the velocity here cancels out and we are left with the magnitude of the momentum is equal Q B R. Okay. Now you don't want that R in the answer because he wants those in terms of the given quantity. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's where my, my thing comes in. Is what R is. So did you figure out what R is? Look, we know that the particle enters the magnetic field here at this point, okay? So V being uh, to the right and uh, the magnetic field being into the page, uh, the force necessarily has to be upwards, okay? And it has to be a centripetal force. So it's safe to assume that the center is somewhere here, right? And now, uh, if you uh, just, we know that the particle is here. If you just connect this here, this is our R, the radius, right? Because, you know, the circle will go something like this. And uh, we know uh, that if, if I continue this rectangle here, 
right? This black rectangle. I know that this is A because, you know, this is a rectangle below, right? And I know that the distance from here to here is R, it has to be a radius, okay? So that means uh, this piece here would have to be, uh, and oh, by the way, this other piece here is D, right? The small one, let's, let's use, let's use uh, gold. This piece here is D, right? So this red piece here would have to be, uh, this red piece here would have to be R minus D, right? And we know that this is 90 degrees, so now we can relate R with A and D, because uh, R squared will have to equal uh, A squared plus R minus D squared. You see, yeah, this is correct here. Okay, and uh, so um, uh, how we're gonna solve this now? This is gonna be a uh, uh, so that means r squared will have to equal a squared. Yeah, just foil this plus r squared minus two r d plus d squared. Uh, notice the r squared goes away and we get uh, 2rd equals a squared plus d squared which makes r a squared plus d squared over 2d and now just plug this here and we have the momentum in terms of the required quantities so the magnitude of the momentum hmm, will equal to q b times that a squared plus d squared over 2d and of course the direction of the momentum will be a uh, tangent to the circular path so if you consider this to be your r hat direction right uh, this will be your theta direction because in polar coordinates those are perpendicular so uh, so it's going to be in the direction of theta yeah? so this would be the momentum In fact, look, the, the center is not even arbitrary. It, it has to be up this line at a point where this distance and this distance are the same. Because we know that here at here, right, uh, this has got to be on the trajectory on the circle. So that means this has to equal that. So I probably should have drawn this a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. The point is it's not arbitrary. It is at a location such which makes this known distance well not just normal this known distance equal to the green r has to be 